And the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, around and round. Tymin must be so pissed, he's looking at his watch like, you're doing all of this with one card? Just like... Thank you, Zeus. Thank you, Zeus. And we're about to 11 multicast, 62 damage. And I don't know how many times it's going to show it, but hopefully it shows every single number for me. Oh, come on. But imagine against a time meter. Boy, oh boy. Okay, that was a very anticlimactic clip. Never mind. All right, so let's go, guys. Let's go for another one. Would you write a Mario Relic again? Threading Needle. That should be really nice, right? So we don't have gold. But because we have Threading Needle, I think we were okay to do elites. So I'm going to go for as many elites as possible here. And guys, we're going to try to make this a win. I haven't won yet. Doing a lot of experimentation. And getting a lot of heartbreak. Characters related to the Guardian. I think the character's related to um, Bronze Automatum a little bit, no? I'm pretty sure this you unlock a card called Hyper Beam. Uh, somebody spoiled it for me and they told me you unlock a card called Hyper Beam. So I think this is related to like the Automatums. It's an Automatum, basically. So it's related to the Bronze Automatum. And related to like triple sentries or some stuff like that. Character starting relic. At the start of each combat, channel one lightning. So one lightning is this little orb right here. Thank you, bro. I'm truly just the quick. Appreciate that, man. So we're gonna go ahead and get cool headed. I like the fact that it's like a nice frost orb and draw two cards or one card. Supreme seems pretty solid. Get the gold. So I need to get some good offense if I'm going to go for these elites. So with, with uh, Frost, with the Frost Orb and with Threading Needle, I'm getting 7 block at the end of my turn, which is really nice. Exactly, exactly, exactly solid. Got it. So with Threading Needle and Frost, it's a pretty interesting combo already. So Chill, once again, is really good for the AoE. It's not so good for the Elites. I think Block is really nice for... I think Leap is really nice to get some consistent Block. So who are we going against? The Slime. So Chill is really good for the Slime. You get more defense and AoE with the Chill. But I really like Barrage because we can do some zaps. And Barrage will be like our attack. So that we're looking for offense for the Elites, right? So Barrage is going to be our offense for the Elites. So this potentially can kill one of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, for, uh, too legit. I'll call you too legit. Yeah, it's easier. It's easier. Uh, <laughs> it is easier. So this Virage is doing um, 12 damage for one, which is not too bad if you think about it. It's not bad at all. So if we upgrade Barrage, I think we're doing what, like 18 damage? And if we get capac Capacitor, we're getting even more potential damage on it. And then he's dead because of the passive stuff. I'm getting the I'm getting the hang of this, guys. So I like loop as well. Because you get to block in the beginning and block at the end. Dreaded victory. First relic again. I know. Hopefully it's, it's actually going to be good for us. So I do like loop because it does the passive at the beginning and the end. It's really good damage. And Barrage is 8 damage. I can take 5 damage to do 8. Or I can just block. Let's just block. So we're getting six. We're getting 12 damage a turn with our loop. Let's evoke one of the, the lightnings. So there's a bug. It's only doing it twice. It's only doing it once, right? So loop is only doing it... Oh, it's used of your next orb. It's not all your orbs. It's only one orb. Oh, it would be OP if it was... Okay, okay. I got confused. It's only of the next orb. Ha, huh, I got confused there for a second. Okay, so it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. I think Frost is really good with Threading Needle. But I think FTL is pretty nice, right? For the Elite. We want some offense. Oh, I got confused. I was like, Loop is kind of OP. It's just doing all your orbs. Again, like that makes no sense, but it makes sense now. Okay. That'd be insta GG, exactly. 
You have no idea what's going on? Uh, sorry, Solid. So we kind of went over some of the cards in the beginning, Solid. Um, basically, what's going on is that there's these orbs, right? These orbs have passive effects, and then they also have an evoking effect. And the way you evoke is like every time there's some cards that will evoke them for you, like dual cast. Or there's cards that channel orbs, and when they channel orbs, it kicks the first orb out, right? So if you channel two orbs right now, these th this will get out and get evoked. And this, this evoke effect will happen. And then there's powers that increase the effectiveness of the orbs. So there's things called focus, which increases the passive damage and the evoke damage. There's things that summon random orbs. There's things that increase the amount of orbs you can get. So you can get five, six orbs. There's a card that makes it so that you can even get like ten orbs. And potentially do all this passive stuff or have like a chain of things going on. So he's operating with these three different orbs or four different orbs. It's uh, kind of complex, right? There's a lot of different things going on. He also has a lot of power synergy. So I kind of went through some of the stuff already solid. But what I can do is, um, I don't know. I'll try to explain some of the stuff that I I'm seeing. Yeah, it is awesome, right? And, and to legit, I agree with you, man. I love the complexity. This game can handle complexity. So I like Barrage here. It's uh, 12 damage for one. Really nice. It's like Flechettes, but with orbs, right? Sort of. I, I guess I can liken it to like... It's Wild Strike, basically. Barrage is like Wild Strike in a deck like this. So we do Zap. It's going to evoke this, potentially hit this guy. But if I do Strike, potentially this is going to hit them as well. So I don't know. There's, there's a 1 in 3 chance for both of these that this gets hit. Let's just do zap anyways. Alright. And now there's hope that this guy gets hit by one of these. Alright, GG. And now we can kind of just like block and be passive in this elite and it's pretty free. So this would be uh, 16 damage. Again, there's a chance that that gets hit by... Yes, yeah, very nice. I like cool headed here. FTL is nice, right? So FTL is a zero. It's like flash of steel, but there's a condition. If you, it only it only works if you played. You've only played uh, three or less cards that turn, right? If you upgrade, it's four or less cards. So FTL is very interesting. Tori. So we got Tori Threading Needle. This is an insane start in terms of relics. Prime, whenever you channel orb, draw one card. So we can go for a lot of card draw with things like... So when we use things like Zap or Cool Headed, Cool Headed becomes better. Or we can go ahead and say Capacitor and get tons of orb slots and just keep making the orbs go and make Barrage better. So if we get orb slots, we can make Barrage a bigger attack, which could be nice for the slime boss because we want to get a good split. So we do Capacitor and then do uh, hopefully a big Barrage. But Prime could be interesting for card draw. It's kind of like Evolve. Not really. I don't know how to describe this. It would be like... I don't know. It's weird. Because Impulse is not bad either. But I think we like Capacitor. Whoa! What? We had... These... What? Okay. Whoa, okay, so guys, I ruined the first Dead Branch run. I'm back again with Dead Branch and three and two other rare relics. Let's not mess this one up. I have a little bit more understanding of what's going on. I'm gonna bring this win home. I'm excited. I'm perked up. I'm in my chair. And I am perked up. So let's have some fun with this. So now we gotta get some exhaust, right? So let's do capacitor. FTL. Cool headed. Zap. So that makes Barrage better, right? So if I can do one more orb, it makes Barrage do 16 damage, which is kind of nice. So Barrage is doing 12 damage here. No, yeah, 12 damage. <laughs> so cool headed is gives me more passive block right 
And Channel Lightning does more damage, so that's doing 9 damage at the end of the turn. But Frost gives me more blocks, so I like the 9 damage at the end of the turn, though. The next Barrage better, even though we're probably not going to draw into Barrage at this point. He's going to die 2 turns. He's going to die next turn. And I can also just evoke with Zap. Okay. What seed is this? Why am I getting every rare relic in the game? Okay, so we got the capac Capacitor Chaos combo, guys. Well, we upgrade Chaos. This is doing two random orbs. Capacitor makes it so we have more orb slots. And we're just doing a lot of orb rotations. And hopefully doing barrage here and there, doing some damage. This could be nutty. This could be nutty. So we also like Ball Lightning because it's also doing 11 damage, 1 Lightning. Keep doing things going. But I like the Chaos a lot. Bottled Flame. Huh. Um. Okay, let's do it for the FTO, I guess. So, a part of me wants to keep token the strikes and make this deck super small, like we did with the last thing, and just have like a a chaos deck with super small chaos deck that's toked. Should we try it? Should we try this? Remove all the strikes that we can and have a really small chaos deck and let Dead Branch do other things in between. So what are different orbs? Okay. So I can either toke or we can go ahead and upgrade. We can upgrade Capacitor and get the more orb slots. We can also upgrade chaos. Like we gotta upgrade chaos first to get the random orbs. Otherwise it's not as strong. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade chaos first. We have a few upgrades to do. But once we get these upgrades, we're gonna choke like crazy. We got another capacitor. So if we do two capacitors, we're having when these are upgraded, this is two slots, so that's four extra slots with chaos. It's gonna be insane. Uh steam power is two card draw, but add burn, which is uh Axe Kick is a free way to evoke your next orb, so it's a nice way to like start dumping some of the orbs you have. So that could be energy gain because of plasma, could be damage because of lightning, could be blocked because of frost, or it could be a lot of scaling damage because of dark. Blaster's kind of interesting too, because Blaster exhausts itself, and I'm going to have a lot of channeled orbs, right? We're getting a lot of channeled orbs, so we're going to be getting that energy gain, and it exhausts, so it gives me dead range value, right? So that's kind of crazy. And I do like Axe, Axe Kick as well, just to kind of do evoking. No, with Impulse, not only does Impulse exhaust, it also uses the passive effect, so that's crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and remove another strike. Alright, this is getting nutty. I think this is like, can be the, this can be it guys, this can be the run. Can be, so when we channel orbs, uh, this is going to be an energy gain, it's really nice. Yes, with capacitor, it's, it's going to be an energy gain, exactly, exactly, you got it. So with Chaos right now, hopefully we can do some stuff. So we can do Chaos and then do Impulse, right? So Impulse is going to make it so that we're getting... This is free, basically, because Plasma, at the start of your turn, you gain energy. And when you evoke it, you gain two energy. But Impulse uses the passive effect, so I basically get Plasma. This is basically free Impulse, and then we get Dead Branch. But then we also get six damage with it, right? Force Field is very interesting when you have powers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy and then do a Defense. I don't want to take damage. Nuclear battery bus? Really kind of... I haven't seen that yet. I'm kind of curious to see that. Whoa! So Tempest, Channel X Lightning Exhaust. So if we do a big... So we just say... Potentially. Like say... Okay. We're going against the slime boss, right? Potentially we have Capacitor. We're, we got a lot of orb slots. Then we use a, um, what's it called? We use the blaster, get a lot of energy because of all the channeled orbs that we have. Then we get all that into Tempest and doing a crazy amount of damage. That's, guys, that's insane. So I do want to tote, but I think, again, we want to make sure we have more orb slots. We also want to make sure that Tempest is kind of nutty as well. This is pre barrage pretty good as well for the split. Um, I think we want to do capacitor. Uh, I think tempest is pretty good actually. Jesus Christ. 
Alright, let's do mm, yeah, let's, do, let's, do, let's upgrade the combat stores. So in boss fights this is gonna be really good. Same with elite fights. Uh I have time to build this capacitor here. There's one of them. There's the this let's look for the next capacitor. Alright, chaos. So we got energy. So now we're working with full energy a turn, which is insane. And we have more passive block with threaded needle. And we can also just do impulse now and get um It's free. Impulse is free and dead branch. We got blaster in the deck, that's very nice. Loving it. Loving this character a lot. Sure. For Capacitor? Capa capacitator. I know this... Wait. Let me see. Am I saying it wrong? It sounds like I'm saying it wrong. I think... It sounds like I'm saying it wrong. Capacitor. 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 Sorry. Capacitor. I know it's capacitor. Wait, I'm saying capacitor. What the hell's wrong with me? Capacitor pronunciation. Capacitor. Let me just make sure I'm not saying it wrong. This word is pronounced as capacitor. Capacitor. I know it's capacitor. I don't know why I'm saying capacitor. I'm so sorry, guys. I knew it's capacitor. I knew it was sounding weird. Capacitor. As soon as I read it, I was like, this is capacitor. Jesus, sorry, guys. Let's, let's ignore that. Um, that effect that I messed it up so bad. So channel lightning is not bad, right? We got... Whoa, channel lightning is insane. I kind of just want to see it. No, it's Tori. So it's actually pronounced Tori. It's, um... It's a Japanese word. It's actually pronounced Tori. That I know for sure. So Lagavulin. I do pronounce Lagavulin wrong. I say Lagavulin. And it's Lagavulin. I say a lot of things weird. Instead of em emulate, I say emulate sometimes. Instead of phenol pain, I'm talking about rectal pain. I mean phenol pain or some kind of random word. I mean, yeah, I say some words wrong. Shoot me, guys. Shoot me. So Barrage is doing 12 damage. And then Tempest is doing three channel lightnings. I don't know. This is crazy. I'm just curious to try this. Because then we get energy back because of... Uh, we're getting energy back because of plasma. So then we can do... Oh, we're just doing it, guys. We're doing it. We're getting energy back because of plasma. Uh-huh. Yes. We got double barrage. Whoa! Double barrage is nutty. And then we're doing all of these lightning. This guy is insane. I'm loving this character. It is. It is Tori. It is Tori. Dragon Crow, look it up. I, I didn't believe it at first. So we get energy game of blaster, which is very nice. We got four energy now. Reprogram. Okay, you know what? I want to keep the. I want to make sure capacitor is draw next turn. Oh, this is this is this is great. I'm loving every second of this. What are the chances they don't hit the guy in the back? Loving it. And no worries, talking back. No, no worries, no worries, no worries. Um, deal three damage and apply one vulnerable. So I really like hologram because when you upgrade hologram, you can do hologram and bring back chaos. I really like hologram, guys. But loop makes a lot of sense with dark. So if you have dark looping. You could have dark scale like crazy. Whoa, I just realized the potential between dark and loop. A darkness loop. We're gonna do chaos with the hologram though. Although vulnerable can make a lot of sense with the barrage. What is the upgrade of hologram? You gotta choose, yes. I, I, I really do like hologram chaos. I like this a lot. Dark is so, dark is like so dark is interesting. Let me explain what it does. Um, dark is like how the scaling damage of it's a scaling orb. So the passive is every turn it gains six damage, right? So it keeps scaling up, and then the evoking is as much damage as you scaled up is applied to the weakest enemy with the lowest HP. So you do things like dual casts, 
and it makes dark get played twice. So you basically let's say it's at 24 or 36, or whatever, it's get played to 72. And then if you have loop on it, it makes it so the next the ones in the next slot is getting the passive played at the beginning and at the end. So dark is getting scaled up twice, basically. It's really nice. So let's get the chaos going, right? Capacitor, chaos, right? Let's get these things channeled. So now when we use blast, the blast is going to be insane. We got to be mindful that we're doing six damage so we don't split him prematurely. So cool headed is uh, drawing a card. Tempest is potentially the split right here, guys. So impulse is going to be free. Let's do impulse first because it's free. All right. So Tempest is potentially really insane. I, I don't even know how to begin doing the damage here. So I guess I can do it, right? So we're, we're channeling four. So we're evoking all four of these. And we're doing uh, eight, 16. We're doing 16 damage and getting two energy. And then we're going to get four lightning. So we're going to be doing three times four. We're going to do 12. So we're doing 16, 28 damage. And then we're going to have two energy so we can do things like uh, defend or cool headed or whatever. Um, so 26 damage is not that good, but it's, let's do it. I like the fact that we get rid of Plasma and then we, we get Dead Branch, right? Oh, wait, what? Why did Plasma not, oh, because I have a lot of slots. Ooh, I have a lot of slots, okay. So we got the Weaken, which is really nice. It's a top deck right there. So if I do Loop, I can actually get two energy a turn. So loop makes it so that pla I'm getting two more energy per turn. That's amazing. Cool headed because uh, frost, which gives me energy right now for evoking. And then I got barrage, which is doing 24 damage. And then blizzard is doing four damage. So I can go for 24 damage if I feel like it. Not to mention he's also gonna be taking 12 damage. So 24 plus 12, 36. That's a pretty decent split. Pretty decent split. I'm a fan. Now we have Threaded Needle with two Frost, so that's kind of that's kind of nice. I like it. So let's do Hologram Defend just so we don't take damage. Yeah, two empty slots. My bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah, I am. I, am. I messed up, guys. I messed up. Um, I like Blaster because Blaster is a massive energy gain and dead branch value. What? This is useless, but I mean, I could just do it for the exhaust and see what we get. We could also just do slime to see what we get. Yes. My first dark I've had this whole game. I've been waiting for it. Uh, I kind of want to do dual cast. I didn't really want to split him, but you know what? Whatever. Of course, it splits this guy and then it does all the attacks go to him. Jesus. So, Chaos into Barrage is pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we get. Okay, okay, okay. That green guy's a magnet for the ch uh, channel lightning. So, go for the eyes is very nice. Zap. I like the way this guy plays. It's crazy. So we get more frost, right? So not only does frost, we already have six passive, and then we're also no, we're not doing more frost. We're just doing damage equals the number of frost channeled. Interesting. That's really good with chill. All right, I'm a fan. Now, when I evoke dark, it's June 24, but we're not gonna get to that point, right? He's dead next turn. Nice, nice. So there are robot only relics. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's really nice. Is there a relic where you get one up every time you beat an elite? That would be crazy, Molski. That would be crazy. So Thunderstrike makes so much sense with Channel Lightning. So Channel Lightning, I channel X amount of Lightning, right? And then Thunderstrike deals 7 damage to random enemy for each Channel Lightning in this combat. This is an attack that doesn't get exhausted. It keeps playing. So that's basically the bludgeon. Sort of. But it keeps getting better. It's a bludgeon that can keep getting better, basically. If you keep using zaps. 
I don't know if we want to use that. You still don't get dark? So dark, basically, the passive of dark is it gains 6 damage in the evoke. So the evoke gains 6 damage, right? So the evoke, hey, Haka, Haka Helena, thanks for the follow. So this thing starts out like this. Dark is 6 damage, passive, gaining, and then evoke is 6 damage. Next turn, evoke is 12 damage, it's gaining 6. Next turn, evoke is 11, 18 damage, keeps gaining, right? Scaling it by 6. And then when you evoke the dark, it does, however long you scaled it, that amount of damage to the lowest enemy, to the lowest HP enemy. Reason why I mentioned six because that that passive thing can be increased by things called focus. So it can be increased by seven or eight by nine, depending how much focus you have. You want to hang on to it and then evoke it exactly. And then when you do evoke it, you probably want to evoke it with dual cash, or you want to evoke it with something else. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious here. We can get more card draw or channel and plasma. So this is. We can keep channeling plasma and get a lot of energy gain per turn. So you know this this guy's kind of crazy, guys. This guy's kind of crazy. So, let me explain something I just realized. You can have more than one Plasma Orb, right? With Fusion. And then he has cheap cards, like Skim. He has cards like Reboot. He has cards that like do draw... A lot of cards just do draws, right? Like cool Headed draws two cards. Skim draws three cards. So he can have multiple energy... So let's say he has like three or two Plasmas. He's getting like five, six energy per turn. And drawing all these cards. He's playing a bunch of cards per turn. So I don't know if I can do for the Plasma route, but like, there is potential with Plasma and card draw. Because this guy has the card draw for days, and he has potential to get a lot of energy with this Plasma stuff. Very interesting. Yes, you can move the orbs back into rotation. Exactly, so the way you evoke, it keeps... I mean, I'll, I'll try to show you in the next fight. Thunderstrike seems to make a lot of sense because it's like a really big nuke. But it's kind of expensive. But I guess if I do something like Blaster, I have a lot of energy. I can use the uh, Thunderstrike. Shadow Paladin, thanks for the follow. He has a card that costs 5 energy. Interesting. So he has expensive cards. It's a big random nuke. Yeah, I think I like Fusion. So we're going to go Runic Dome here. Card that costs 5. So this guy, is all he has like high cost cards. Okay. So plasma is necessary for those cards, huh? So we need Mo at hand, right? Mo at hand is the nuts. Do we want to go for elites? What is this? So there's a there's like a new card called Melter, guys, and Melter removes all block and does eight damage. So it's basically really good against guys like this. So fusion's nice. But let's do frost. So we evoke plasma, right? And then we can do fusion. Oh, so this is what I'm talking about, Melter, right here. This is what I'm talking about. I just speak of the devil. So fusion basically gives me energy, but also gives me five block. Let's, let's not do fusion yet. This game seems very confusing. Egg boy, it is a little confusing. This is a very complex character. I'm sure I'm not making it easier for you guys because I'm kind of like learning all of it and like I'm still processing all of it as well. It is a complex character. I can dual cast and get ten block, or I can do zap. I like loop as well because I get. Let's do dual cast, just because I feel like we're taking damage here. Try to get that. Uh, yeah, exactly. So static discharge is crazy with Thunderstrike, I can imagine, yeah. So if I do fusion and then impulse, uh, basically impulse becomes free, right? Impulse becomes free. Can you imagine non-stop impulse? Is it? That's interesting, Trey Cole. Thanks for that. That's awesome, bro. So Melter is interesting. I like Chaos Orb into uh, holog Hologram Chaos Orb. 
So that like so this let me show you dark solid if solid if you're here. You see? All right? And then these go into rotation. So if you can f force the ev evoking, you can use this as like a uh, a scaling nuke or whatever. So dual cast is doing 16 damage and then hologram is doing In fact, just do hologram chaos again. That's that's the only reason why I got those two cards. So we got three plasma. So next turn we're having a lot of energy. I like it. That's seven energy. The hell? And then Blaster is going to be free, right? More than free. It's going to give me four energy. So now I have 11 energy. And the dead branch doing all these kind of things. So we have a, we have potential to get a lot of energy, you guys. We just need to um and then we right now with eleven energy, imagine we do Tempest. What's this card called? Tempest. And there's a card that doubles your energy, so I can have twenty two energy and then do Tempest. That's twenty two channel lightning. It's insane. This is some Pog Champ crap going on right now. Let me get some Pog Champs in the chat. Dude, plasma Channel, I mean, possibilities are endless. I'm gonna go to sleep dreaming about this, like Tetris puzzles. That uh, didn't make a lot of sense. Basically, I'm, I'm gonna be dreaming about this. I used to dream about Tetris. For some reason, if you play Tetris, you have dreams of blocks falling. Anyways, let's, um, let's try to work towards that Tempest thing. I, I just saw something potential there. I'm gonna skip here. Although Hologram upgraded again could do the Chaos thing multiple times, or it could do like Fusion multiple times. So I think Hologram is really interesting. Enable coggers. I'll enable it right now. Uh, give me a second. So let's do FTL back, right? Cool headed. So blasters free. Okay, gain an orb slot. So this is gonna be a lot of orb slots if we can get the chaos, right? So I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, so we got six six slots right now. Let's get some chaos going. There's the chaos. Uh, we're taking damage. Whatever. Wait, dual cast? Wait, check this out, guys. Dual cast makes me evoke this twice. So I gain four energy, but I cost so I gain two energy, and then I can do tempests. Bow champ. And then we have thunder strike in the deck. Okay, so I'm taking a lot of damage, but we got thunder strike in the deck. We also have loop. So dark is on loop, which means dark is getting double the scaling. So if I do uh, fusion right now, dark is doing 18 damage, right? If I do if I do Impulse first, then Dark is doing 24 damage, right? And then I just do, uh, Barrage is a lot of damage too, but I can just do Channel 1 Plasma and kill him with Dark. This deck is, I mean, this guy is crazy. It's crazy. So we got Barrage, we're more of that, we can do more Orb Slots. Non-stop Orb Slots. Or we can do ball lightning and get more more channeling. I don't think we want more capacitors. C capacitor is. <clears throat> I want cheap cards. I I'm gonna skip actually. We have we have peace pipe. We can act. Whoa! How do we feel about apparition with thread and needle? Yes, you know we gotta try it. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yes. Now I can just <clears throat> got Thunder Strike. <clears throat> so I can go ahead and start. <clears throat> I can go ahead and start scaling up my stuff. So so apparition is like really nice for uh doing things I want to do with this deck, which is like chaos and getting more orb slots and stuff. And not to mention it gives me Dead branch. Whenever you play a power, channel one lightning. Seems legit. 
<clears throat> so we have two plasmas right now. So this is six energy a turn. So fusion makes me get one more plaza. Plaza. So we have seven energy in the beginning of my turn. So if I get Tempest right now, it's gonna be Pog Champ. Okay, let's bring back Fusion. <laughs> so you can bring back Tempest now. Um, yeah. I believe I do. Okay, okay, so we can do, wait, we can hologram, we can hologram the chaos and get random orbs, or we can hologram the fusion, get more plasma, or we can hologram the tempest and get a whole bunch of channel lightning. Let's try this out. What? What? Why didn't I know this existed before Tempest? Replace all channel orbs with plasma. The turns never stop. Wait, what did I just do? Whenever I play power channel one lightning, so I'm getting energy back. At the start of your turn, add one power. So I'm adding one power. And then I'm, every time I play a power, I get one lightning. So then I'm getting energy back because I'm evoking the plasma. And then I use cards like Thunderstrike and do a massive nuke. Feels good, man. This is... That's, how much, wait, how much energy, wait, how much energy do I have right now? Wait, dual cast gives me how much energy? <laughs> what is this? Yo. Wait, fusion gives me even more... Guys. I don't know what to say. So we can do... Uh, f Impulse is more than free. Do I have ice cream on the deck? What is going on? Okay. Oh, yes. I like that. You know what? Let's do it again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So conserve battery means I get all the energy next turn, right? So do we test it for science? If I get all the energy next turn, do I test this for science? It conserves everything, right? I just want to try it. This has potential to be a very insane class, guys. Woo! Thunderstrike is doing 7 times 12. Dead branch. Okay. It's amazing. So you know what this deck needs? You know what this deck needs? It needs Skim. Because Skim is doing four card draw. With all the energy, we need that card draw for days, right? So that's good. I feel okay doing Elites, to be honest. I feel like we can handle an Elite or two. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, I don't know about this one, though. So now we have Apparitions, we can go for Elites, no problem. Tempest. So we have another Tempest in the deck. So that's going to be potentially amazing. We have another Tempest in the deck. I repeat, there's another Tempest in the deck. Let's do Blaster real quick. So we can discard Apparition, right? Or we can discard everything that's not Apparition and make sure that we get Apparition next turn. Like, Reprogram is very interesting. Reprogram allows you to get top deck whatever you need. That's, I love it. 
So we can try to neck out, but it's not going to do anything for us, right? So I like creative AI. Gain four focus. Gain eight focus. <laughs> okay. Let's do eight focus. Let's try it out. 11 damage, 22 damage at the end of my turn. I like it. Oh no, I lose Apparition. So these things are doing a lot of damage. Gain one focus, yes. Wait, with Chaos and Focus, 30 damage at the end of my turn. That's kind of cool too. Hey, why not do Loop as well? Do even more damage. Um, so we can, wait, let's see. So we can re, so we can repro, so we can do this. We can do zap, do 13 damage, and then repro, oh, we do hologram zap again. We do another 13 damage, so 26 damage. We can also do, um, reprogram. And I want to get Tempest, actually. Oh, wait, so we can discard Tempest and then hologram whatever we discarded. That's very interesting. Reprogram is insane with hologram. So I can do channel... Oh, actually, I'm taking damage here. I just realized. I don't have Apparition up. I'm taking damage here. This is insane. I actually can kill him with poison. Right, so that's 12. 24. No, I didn't kill him. Just barely. Whoops. Whenever you play a power channel on lightning. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to waste a poison, but whatever. Old coin. Whoa, okay. Amplified. Your next power is your next power is played twice. Genetic algorithm. So we can try genetic algorithm because we have dead branch, and not to mention it's like searing blood. I think amplified sounds better. Next power is play twice, so we could do that on the capacitor and get a lot of orbs. Or we can do it on, um, that's the only power we have, actually. But let's try Amplify. I'm getting to, the, I'm getting to the, the area where I'm playing a lot of, I'm picking a, a lot of random cards. Because they all look so interesting. What? Did we just get a modified hand? This is insane. So with Dead Branch Mummified Hands, my god, I feel like this is gonna get nutty real quick, guys. And we're taking Apotheosis, fuck it. Let's remove a strike. I feel like this is gonna get super nutty. Imagine a nut times two. Fusion? Oh, I wish I had enough energy for hologram fusion again. Whoops. No, okay, apparition's upgraded. That's fine. I need to get more powers in my deck now. I'm on foot hand. That's a power. Let's bring back the apparition. That's an energy gain. That's an energy gain? Huh. Yes. Yes. Machine learning, yeah, yeah. Yes. This is crazy. I mean, I really like double energy. I'm just gonna do it now. Okay. So it's not like Rampage, because it exhausts. It's like Searing Blow, because it, it's permanent. It permanently increases. So every battle you use it, the next battle gets increased by that amount. So if you get it early in the game, you, you're gonna basically have an Impervious or better for one mana towards the end of the game. 
So, capacitor with chaos. Let's do cool headed first. So, we do chaos. Now, barrage is a, a nuke, pretty much. So that's nice. So, we're having one, two, three. Three more energy, seven energy per turn. And then we have card draw, so we have a lot. Eight energy per turn. Tempest is doing eight channel lightning. Let's just try it out. Let's see what happens. Let's just go for it. Okay. Um, I should have done prime first. Whoops. So let's do a amplify capacitor, right? Let's do prime. Let's do impulse. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Let's do hologram impulse. Oh, that's a cool game. I like this character. It's cool. So, Hello World's a little bit better now that we have... Now that we have uh, Mumbo Fat Hand, Hello World's a little bit better. Yeah, Apparition's amazing, yep. So, Ball Lightning's not bad. I think Axe Kick... I think... Yeah, we'll, do, we'll go for Powers here. More Powers? Uh, or we get Frost. More powers. So if we can toke our strike or we can upgrade. I think we have apotheosis, so we don't need to upgrade as much. Now I can toke willy nilly. Chaos hologram chaos. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Hmm, wasn't the best. We need capacitor, right? This guy's powers, yeah, it makes sense, right? Your next power is played twice, so loop is doubled. Uh, let's do a uh, cool headed first. So I like amplify capacitor. So amplify is like burst for powers. That's kind of insane, man. So we have double tap, right? Double tap for iron cloud attacks. Burst for silent skills. Amplify for defects powers. Tempest, eh, it's not good here. So dual cast is killing this bird. I'm taking some damage here just because of I don't have my apparitions. So that's really scary. There's the apparition finally. Replace all channel orbs with plasma. Seems good, man. So apparition could have came a lot sooner. Kind of gave me a heart attack here. Panache? Okay. Let's keep Blaster. Wait, I... I'm gonna keep this stuff. I like this. Wait, I like this. So my deck takes a second to kick off, but once it kicks off, it's like, it's not bad, right? Whenever you play a power, channel a lightning. Play the next card you play this turn on top of your draw pile. At the start of your turn, use K. Okay. Choose two cards from trap out and place them to your hands. Uh, we have a lot of days. I just noticed. But Seek just gives you two cards into your deck. Oh, really? Wait, what?
What the hell? Why did this not show up? Thank you so much for the $50, dude. Daniel, thank you so much, Prostate. Appreciate that a lot, man. For some reason, it didn't show up. I Thank you for the $50. Thank you for your support, man. Wow. Thank you. That's perfect. $50. Third character. Today's a good day, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jeez. Uh, I, I, I'm like lost here, right? I think we're just gonna go for Tempest. Let's do Apparition. Let's do, let's do Tempest. I like this. Genetic algorithm, cool headed. So cool headed is more card draw and more things, like more. Uh, it's more a uh, channeling of orbs, but <clears throat> card draw is not bad because I want to get my apparitions out, right? So I think it's fine. Shovel, more cool headed. Whenever you play a power card, draw one card. So heat sinks makes a lot of sense because we have mummified hands. So we want to play powers, and then when we play powers, we draw a card. But I think cool headed really nice to get our apparitions out. So I'm going cool headed. So we can dig for a relic, or we can soak. Let's dig. Ah, it's not bad. I mean... Ah, uh, we can get the curse. We have max HP. So we can rest, or we can say, you know what? We have apparitions. We don't need that. He thinks it's not bad. It's not bad. You're right. I can also toke out the curse I just put in there. So I think we're fine, because if we get the Apparitions, we're not going to take damage. Let's see how this goes. How's the new character? Beach Bear is insane. There's a lot of different stuff going on. What's up, Brad Cohen? Yeah, it's crazy. Overview of the new character? Sure thing. So there's basically these orbs that you generate, and these orbs have passive effects and evoke effects. And the evoke basically happens when you channel new orbs enough to knock this one out of place, if that makes any sense, then that effect gets used. And there's also different cards that can evoke it at will. And then you can expand your orb collection, like the amount of orbs you can have, and then you can keep evoke, uh, channeling new orbs, and they all have different effects. Maybe if you, you'll see some stuff here, if we, if we can get this going. Maybe you'll get an idea for it. Gain one focus, one sh lose one strength, one dexterity. So basically, you're sacrificing strength and dexterity to gain stronger orbs. This is very interesting. That's actually perfect for apparition deck. I want to keep chill for when he has the AoE, right? Channel 2 Frost. Okay, this is very spicy. I like this. This is very interesting. Chaos. Um, let's do Hello Worlds. Chaos. We need, to, we need to get Capacitor out. We need Capacitor. I don't want to use Tempest with that low, low energy. There's Capacitor. There we are. Let's bring back uh, Cool Headed. I'm a little worried because I'm using all my apparitions now and I'm not getting like... I guess we can get dark to do some stuff, but I'm a little worried actually. So Apotheosis is really nice. At the start of your turn, use the next passability of your next rope. Okay, perfect. Reinforced body, gain block this many times. Not really good. So pull out all the zero cost cards from your discard pile into your hand. So do we have any zero cost cards? We got chill. And we got FTL. I guess chill is good enough, but that's kind of expensive, right? So I think ball lightning. Well, I think chill is pretty worth it, actually. Talk me, daddy, please. I'm getting lost in this character, guys. I'm getting lost in this character. I think chill is worth it. What we want to do is get the thing that makes all of this plasma, right? So we get, like, what? Seven energy a turn. That's really nice. 
So fusion is giving me energy. So zap is also giving me dark damage here. Cool headed is also so this is giving me energy plasma. I like that a lot, right? I like that zap is doing 24 damage. I can let it be more, but I, I'd rather just do this, right? So this is a energy gain up the wazoo. Whenever we play power channel one lightning, that's very nice. So we can go ahead and do uh, it's cool headed. We have eight energy, by the way. Let's do hologram and bring back cool headed and keep drawing. So we can do Tempest now, which is 8 channel lightning, or we can do... Like, impulse first, and then try to get impulse to give me something like... Let's see what we can do first. I guess Tempest is not bad here, actually. Let's do Tempest. So I have a lot of X's block. <laughs> this is weird. Once I get my powers out, I'm almost unstoppable. I guess you're right, but I don't know. It's like... It's getting dark in here. Okay. I need a Thunder Strike. Yeah, I need a Thunder Strike. This is interesting. So he's probably attacking, and I don't have a lot of max life. So I'm going to have to figure some stuff out. Because we just got rid, of, we got rid of all of our defense stuff. So let's do Zap. Let's do Impulse, right? That's a lot of damage. Decent amount of damage, at least. We need things like Plasma. So if we're not doing things like Plasma, we're kind of in a pickle. Mm. I'm watching your it's almost 3am. <laughs> okay, um, I, I need to think how to defend you because I think we're going to take a lot of damage. We might just be dead if we don't, if we do this wrong. I probably should have done a hologram, right? I think I might be dead here. Oh boy. Got the weekend. I feel like we're dead. Pots? I know, I know. I'm trying to think what we could do to win here, guys. Like, So this gives me two frost, which gives me more block, but then like... I could also do hologram for two and then gain back leap. Right, so leap is a decent amount of block, and then we have... Then we have... Hmm... Glacier is not bad. We might just be dead. I think we're dead. Oh my god. Sadistic nature. Barrage. Chaos. I'm so scared out of my mind. Gain two focus. Okay, that's insane. Use this. Okay, axe kick. We 
We almost have lethal too. I think we're I think we're fine. Oh my god, dude, focus with the frost. Insane. At the start of your turn, add a random colorless card to your hand. Oh, that's insane. That's like toolbox and a power. Chaos. I think we win. Alright, we won. That was scary as all hell. My god. Amplify again. No, that's not really good. Bias cognition. Gain four focus at the start of each turn. Lose one focus. At the start of each turn, add a random power. Oh, so the parade of AI is insane, right? So creative AI with mummified hand. Gotta take it. More energy. Curses are not bad because we can toke them and we got Darkstone Periaps. Just think about the Darkstone. I like having max HP when we have apparitions in the deck. I think that's pretty good. Maybe not. I mean, we have, we have Apotheosis, right? So, since we have Apotheosis, we don't have to upgrade. We can just toke out the curses and we're fine. You guys are probably like, what the hell did you just do? And I agree with you. But I, I'm making energy and I have Mummified Hand. I think we're fine. I'm probably going to regret that because right now the curses are kind of kicking my ass. Well, not, not when we have Apparitions, though, right? So we want to do Capacitor. Okay, we want to play Apparition. Like, I want to do Capacitor, but I can't guarantee he's going to hit Apparition. And Apotheosis would be good exactly when I... Uh, Bell would be good when I don't have Apotheosis, exactly. So now we can start playing Apparitions and stuff. Creative AI is insane, because Mummified Hand every turn is a random power at the beginning of it. That's insane. Who's the boss? Time Eater. So we're not going against the Awakened One, which seems to be like the counter, right? So we can bring back uh, Cool Headed or we can bring back Sweeping Beam. Oh, we can just draw, right? Because, oh, hmm. Hmm. This is the beta villain. Echo Form. The first card you play each turn is played twice. So we can do capacitor twice, and then we can strike fire pot. We don't have, wait. We're in trouble because we don't have. We don't have apparitions out, so we're taking a big hit here. Oh, we're fine. Panache, apparition, chaos. Skim. Apparition. Panache got buffed? Why did they do 20 damage? They buffed Panache? What the hell? They buffed Panache? Oh, it doesn't work that turn. I have two Panaches? Oh, I didn't even realize. I didn't realize I had two Panaches. Jesus Christ. Static Discharge. Impulse. So many different things I could do. It's hard to think about this stuff. I like getting Plasma, right? I think Plasma makes sense because... Um, we, want, we want more energy per turn. The power plays the first card twice, so I played Panache twice. What? Oh, that's so good. Echo form, I can play it. The first card is played four times. Does that does that stack? I gotta see if this stacks. It's played two extra times. What? Creative AI with echo form is nutty. First card is played two extra times. Oh my god. So if I do apparition with echo form, I'm playing three apparitions for one. Three apparitions for one. So if I can make apparitions on top of my deck, I get three app Ooh, my god. Combinations are insane. Fusion gets played three times. That's three plasma. 
What? Okay, let's bring back Apparition. Reboot. Mm-hmm. I'm down with the chaos. He's, he's complicated and he does seem a little uh, broken. Because uh, things seem broken when you're not used to it, right? So the first card I've played is played three times. So that means Amplified. So wait, guys. Amplified is played three times, right? All right? All right, all right. So that means Capacitor is played six times, I believe. Let me just see. It's only played twice. Uh, that that would have been interesting interaction, right? So I would have had a whole bunch of orbs. It, it thought it was going to be cool. It wasn't that cool. Forget about my hype there. Wait, wait. Wait, that, well, we have Amplified for five turns, it looks like. What does that mean? Oh, it's played twice. The next four powers are played... The next four powers are played twice. So Amplify... Look, it keeps playing the powers. So I potentially can play three more powers twice. That's, this is nice. Loving it. This character, I approve. Stack. I feel like with Dead Branch, we're getting a lot of discards, so stack could be a good block. The max storage class is 10. Uh, yeah, Dead Branch is doing a lot of work. So ball, lightning, or leap. Uh, we can do stack, but I don't think we need block because we're having apparitions, right? I'm going to go ahead and skippy skippy. Creative AI is insane. We came to that conclusion, right? So, Plasma's nice. I'm gonna take some damage now. Wait, let's do this. Yeah, so we're taking some damage now in order to get, um... Creative AI out, and now we're gonna have powers all the time. So, Amplify means Capacitor's paid twice, and so is, uh... Like, same thing with Loot, but I like Amplify Capacitor. So that means Blaster is an energy gain. Darkness, Hello World, Loop. Okay. Go for the eyes. So, Impulse is so good with orbs, guys. Impulse is so good. So, let's look for, like, um, another... We, we actually want to do discard because we want to look for another self-repair. If we can find it. But if not, it's okay. Never mind, he's dead. So darkness is very interesting. It does one weak, one vulnerable, and one darkness. I like it. Although we really want powers, right? And I gotta toke out these uh, these curses. So Melter's really good against this guy. Amplify Hello World. I liking it, liking it. Capacitor, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Fusion, I'm liking it. So now we're working with five energy here. Yeah, so Ginger's not bad for the doubt, right? I just don't like the injury. So I'm just gonna get rid of the injury. The other one exhausts itself for dead branch, so that's fine. I would say I'll get rid of doubts okay because I have the ginger, right? So Tempest is not bad here. But I feel like So I I, I want to capacitor, right? Into chaos. Into hologram chaos again. But I wanna do this first. Like I wanna do this. Apotheosis is not bad. So how much damage is that doing? So 
So Barrage is doing um, 35 damage, right? And if we do... So Tempest is not bad because we can get more energy this turn. I think Tempest is fine because we get more energy, right? And it allows us to do things like... Well, this is nice. Well, plus, Flux Capacitor is insane. But we can bring back uh, things like... The Weaken. Like, go for the eyes. Or we can bring back... Cool Headed and get more Frost. If we can do something like... So Chaos actually gives us energy again, because Chaos evokes the Plasma, so we have energy again. And now we can do Flux Capacitor and get all that as Plasma, but then we won't get the uh, Dark. So we can just go for, like, a... Uh, Barrage and kill this guy. Or we can do Flux Capacitor and say, you know what, I'd rather get all that Plasma next turn. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this out. It's gonna be what? How much energy? 10 energy, okay. I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with it. So Amplify Creative AI means I get two random powers at the start of my turn. That's insane. Double energy means I have 26 energy. 20, 28 energy, right? So if I... Let's say perhaps I draw into Tempest right now. We are looking like a... a very happy boy. Okay, I want you guys... I want you guys to see this. I want you guys to see this real quick. Uh, okay, I want you guys to see this. Like, I'm gonna do this, right? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna bring Tempest back. Alright, guys. This is 25 Tempest. Put it on the YouTube. Let's do Impulse first. Okay. Tempest, 25. I like it. I like it. Okay, Impulse is very nice. Impulse is very nice, but I feel like we don't... <laughs> What's up, Swiss Man? How you doing, man? Impulse is nice. I think we're, we're gonna skip, though, right? So we want to choke at least one of the curses. I think we can go for an elite. We can handle an elite, right? Oh, this is the best path. This is four things. This was four fires and an elite. I, I didn't see this path to begin with. It's just new. I don't think it's broken. We'll, we'll figure it out. So Amplify Loop is not bad, but hopefully I can get Apparitions off of it, right? Yeah. Echo Form. Ah, Echo Form. I think Injury is the only bad curse. That's it. I want to bring Echo Form back. Oh, I could have brought it back. My bad. How many runs? I've only done, this is like my third run, right? So this is like the old, the first win. I think the third third run I'm on. But I'm actually getting a win this time, which feels nice. Creative AI is super good. I want to bring back the Echo Form, right? So we definitely want to play Echo Form. All right, guys. Echo form is gonna get nutty. Your first boss was in Wiko, and he got like center strike and I still destroyed him. So fun. Nice is an element. So everybody's saying this may be cut out hard. So this means I get apparition played twice with echo form. I dig it, right? Allocate means I get more focus, which is really nice. Let's do a capacitor into the loop, into fusion, into allocate. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. That's so far, man. So far, this guy has a lot of different combos, a lot of different complexities, a lot of things to consider. I got two apparitions again with Echo Form. So basically, Echo Form means my apparitions last twice as long, which is amazing. Evoke your next orbs X times. So multicast can work on Plasma, which potentially be a crazy amount of energy. So look at all these little combos, right? Like multicast into Tempest. Like, 
multicast with dark. So if you had multicast on dark, let's say you have a dark deck, right? We're going dark deck. Multicast on the dark is doing 32 damage times 4. Let's say you have a lot of energy, you have there's all these different energy stuff. This is 32 damage or whatever dark is times whatever this energy is. I mean, the potential this thing can do in terms of damage is insane. I'm gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked, guys. Absolutely go gobsmacked. So we're gonna let the dark kill them, right? So we want to scale up a dark. Have I seen the plasma relic? I have not seen it. I'm sure I'm gonna lose my mind. Deek fragment game one focus. So dark is getting scaled up even more. Liking that. Blaster is an insane energy gain. Conserve battery means I get all that next turn. So if we can draw into Tempest, that'll be fantastic. So there's a chance we draw into Tempest here. So let's conserve this. And this is about to be, hopefully, a massive Tempest. Imagine making a multicast now, right? So give me hologram from hologram from multicast. Wait, guys, I'll I want to show you guys this. Guys, you guys need to see this. You guys need to see this. Please get the clip ready. Guys, get the clip ready. Please, please, please. Alright, guys, get the clip ready, okay? We are gonna do darkness. And we're about to 11 multicast 62 damage. And I don't know how many times it's gonna show it, but hopefully it shows every single number for me. Oh, come on. But imagine against a time meter. Boy, oh boy. Okay, that was a very anticlimactic clip. Never mind. Forget it. Cut the clip. But you guys saw what I was talking about, right? I'll lose a strike gladly. The damage is insane. So let's do FTL, alright? Fusions, so loop. Fusion. Cool headed. Creative AI. Oh no, I like creative AI. No, not apparition. Fuck! I want the apparition. A dark loop deck with multicast. I'm calling it now, guys. It's happening. I lost my... So let's stack up darknesses, guys. Let's stack up darkness for this. Alright, guys. So here's, here's our plan, right? We're going to get darkness stacked up. And we're going to try to do a really big uh, lethal here. But we want to get the apparition to buy some time. So fission is uh, evoking all my orbs. We can do that once we got the uh, darkness stacked up. Um, I do like Hello World. I'm adding a lot of random cards because of Hello World. <laughs> the next cards you play this turn is placed on top of your drop pile. Interesting. I don't want to play that many cards. I just want to... Okay, Apotheosis is fine. So now my apparitions don't leave me. And I want to get the focus, right? So I want to get defragment. So we want to get... The we want to get hologram and defragment, and we also want to get apparitions played multiple times. So there's one apparition. So heat sinks is not bad. So we do we want to do heat sinks. We want to do capacitors. I suppose we could start doing some damage, right? I suppose we should start doing damage because this guy's scaling up and I don't know. I mean, it's not get a little scary unless we get apparition, of course, like that. Your next two powers are played twice, so that's not bad. Blaster is really nice. All right, so we want to be able to do like ball lightning into blaster or no impulse is f not free. Let's do this, right? And then to uh, Blaster. So we got a big energy gain here. Ooh. Redez. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Let's do uh, Apparition because we want to do Apparition here, right? 
impulse is not bad because we can make the dark go crazy. Wait, wait, we can make dark go crazy here. Uh huh. Dark again. So dark's getting pretty big. Steam power, I like it. Tempest, I don't really want to do it right now. I don't know why I put steam power. I, I, I need plasmas right now. I, I think we're, we're suffering from no plasma. The next tower played twice. So hologram is probably decent, but not on the end of my turn. Okay. I'm hoping to kill him with dark, but um, and it's getting a little scary. We gotta get apparitions. I wonder if we can kill here. Character of ice cream seems so broken. Yeah, it is broken. It's crazy. This character's crazy. Can only have max ten slots. Okay. Yeah, it's good to know. I was imagining like a main. A, Injury and Dow are basically the same. Yeah, Injury and Dow are basically the same. Yeah, you're right. Injury and Dow are basically the same. I just got rid of the curse so I had better draws. I didn't have anything to upgrade. I mean, I could upgrade something, but I have Apotheosis. But we're not getting Apotheosis first turn. I guess I could have rested. Yeah, this is like a very interesting concept. I think the, the developers did something really interesting here. So we're going to have to try to figure out... Whether or not we have lethal or whether or not we have defense, right? So we do have stack. So stack is something we can look forward to. We have things like rebound, right? So we can do rebound, stack, and then get it back into my deck. And then draw cool-headed and do stack again. So we can potentially block here. In the worst case scenario, we do rebound, stack, stack with cool-headed. Recover the damage, right? So let's do creative AI first. So stack is free. So we can even do stack, hologram, stack, right? But because we have... The hologram means we can bring one of these cards back and potentially do something that's a little bit crazier. I think we just do stack, right? I think we do stack, hologram, stack. We also keep them weakened. Because we do have apparitions in the deck somewhere. At least one of them. At this point, dark's getting pretty big. So let's do this. I think we could do Darkness and Axe Kick, or we can even do, like, Barrage. Like, Barrage is doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 70 damage, Barrage. It's not bad. You add that with Axe Kick. I mean, I do a little less damage. It's doing, like, 66. And then we have Dark that is doing, if I evoke these Darks. So, Impulse makes it so that Dark gets channeled more, right? So I do fusion first and then impulse. Impulse is free. Defragment is kind of insane. Okay, there's a lot of different things we can do. So here's what we're gonna do. Fusion. Impulse. So so <laughs> dude, I could do rebound, axe kick, then draw cool headed and do axe kick again. I want I want you guys to just see this, right? So rebound, axe kick. Cool headed, axe kick. Okay, so it wasn't lethal, so maybe I I jumped the gun. Maybe I jumped the gun. Maybe I just lost because of that. I don't know. I mean, I should have just waited an extra turn because I had a pos I had an apparition. I should have waited. Probably should have waited. Like this next turn would have been fishing, which would have been, been really nice. Huh. Interesting. I think we're fine. Because we have fishing for all this block, right? I think Barrage is doing some good damage as well. So that's doing like 18 damage. Fission is not bad. We can do like, we can do Barrage and then Fission. Fission. Self-repair. <laughs> so I don't have the weaken on him. I think I jumped the gun with the dark, to be honest. But 
Okay, I think we have enough defense. Let me see. This is going to be 24, 30 block with fission plus the two defense. Maybe it's better to do barrage first and then let's do defend barrage fission. Do I want a fission though? So without fissioning, I got eight defend plus one, two, three, four, five. 15 plus 5, 20. I get 20 plus 8 plus 16. Okay, I'm getting 36 block. I think we're not dead. Like, we're not gonna die, right? He's not doing more than 65 damage. There's no way. The question is whether or not we want to take the chance or we want to just do fission and do... Actually... Fine. That might be costing me, though. Maximum or capacity has been met. So Tempest is doing five ch channel X lightning, which is going to do not enough damage. So we're doing like rebound axe kick. Streamline. I think we have lethal. I think with like rebound, axe kick, streamline, we're doing lethal. I should have axe kick after barrage. Yeah, that's true. You're right about that. So rebound is nine plus axe kick is that's gonna be a little bit more, maybe like plus eight, so seventeen. Streamline is probably gonna be around eighteen or. 19. It's close to lethal. I'm going for it. 19. Yeah, I think we have lethal. Scary ass guy, dude. Bottle lightning. So that's perfect for apotheosis. What? And now we got Thunderstrike with the Tempest in our deck. We just gotta try this combo, right? Sorry, bro. I know it's bro. It's, it's a long run. I know you're tired. It's getting late, so we're gonna about to end it. I'm gonna take the thunderstrike because we have tempest. I think it just makes the most sense. I think that was really worth it because we got apotheosis. So I'm extremely happy about uh, the fact that we did that elite double FTO. Seems good. F fission. I mean fusion. Seems good. Right now, it's getting late, so this, this is my last run, guys. I'm, I have to do, obviously, I want to do um, Next Plowers Pay Twice. Like, obviously, I want to um, stay and do this all day, right, and play the third character, but I got to take care of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to end on this run, and then tomorrow, it's going to be all of the third characters. We're going to have a lot of fun, but at least we're ending on a win. I have a feeling we're going to get a win here, so it's nice that we're ending on a win. Axic gives me two block, and I can do Tempest. I mean, two, two energy. I actually don't want to do that, right? I'll do Tempest, it's fine. Any initial thoughts? I think the initial thoughts are... It's hard for me to formulate just yet, but I think there's a lot of different combo possibilities. I think some of these things are very strong if you get the combos working. In terms of Century 15, I feel like some of these things are a little hard to set up in Century 15, but you also get punished against the Awakened one. But a lot of these cards seem very easy as well to kind of get going. So I, I just have to mess around with it a little bit more. I think he's very strong. A lot of complexity, a lot of different ways you can do this, right? There's like... Dark with multicast things going on. There is a lot of energy with card draw that you can do. 
there's like channel lightning with tempest and uh like thunderstrike things you can do i mean there's a lot of different synergies going on right so many different things you can do so many different ways that the decks can be formed because there's there's think about it there's four orbs and then each of his cards have interactions in different ways right so there's like things are like chill and blizzard and frost mechanics there's things that center around plasma things that center around the channel lightning i don't know there's just a lot of different things so far i think darkness is really interesting i want to try that multicast thing i think just getting a lot of energy with plasma is kind of interesting because that enables you to do card draw and do a lot of other things obviously he's very power centric so things like mummified hand are amazing things like echo form and creative ai seems really strong all in all, it seems really interesting. I just have to play more and learn more. And I don't know. I'm all, I'm all frazzled right now, right? Because it's been it's been hours now. I like hologram a lot. I think hologram is a super strong card. I like the fact that you can just bring back um, like anything at will. I don't know. I think it's just so many. It's really cool. Really cool class. <clears throat> <laughs> we technically had 64 times 25 damage in one card. Let that sink in. 64 times 25 damage. Uh, there's a clip there, guys, if you guys want to take a look. And it was, it was nutty. So Creative Eye, I think, is so amazing. I'm in love with Creative Eye. I love, I love Chaos... I like Tempest. I mean, I just like all of this. Impulse is like free, right, with Plasma. And then you get things like Hologram to do Impulse again, right? Like, things like this are just so sexy. You can do it again. You know what? And then off of Tempest. Force Field, why not? GG. There you go. See, it's, it's really nice. It feels, it feels nice. So I really like Darkness, but Aggregate with... Aggregate, fantastic. Uh, that's something I didn't mention. Blaster with Dead Branch and Blaster with Orbs in general. Amazing card. Blaster super strong. I I'm going to go through all these cards and think what I think are the best ones. So far, I feel I do see some cards that obviously seem stronger than others. Starting Relic. At the start of each combat, channel 1 Lightning. So, <laughs> Blaster is nice, right? Whoops, I forgot about that. Capacitor, Capacitor. Amplify should have been played first. Whoopie whoopsies. That was a mistake. Should have done Amplify first. So, Aggregate is like... Insane. Like, Aggregate Tempest alone is, like, insane to me. And then I do things like Blaster after, right? Because we're going to get... We're going to evoke the Plasma, right? So we're going to get the energy back. And then we do Blaster, we get all that energy back again. Even more so, right? Because of the Channeled Orbs. So now we're getting more energy, or the same amount of energy that we started with. And then we just evoke everything with Fission and say, you know what? Fuck you guys. But we could do this, right? Do Doom and Gloom, things like that. I mean... I don't know, this, this, these cards feel really nice. It's, it's exciting. It's interesting. So we can go ahead and do Fission with the Double Dark and that he's gonna die. So Buffer, prevent the next few times you lose HP, which doesn't make a lot of sense with um, the Apparitions. I mean, I guess it combos with Apparitions pretty nice, right? But for the most part, we're going to draw into apparitions. I think we're going to skip. I think trading the starting relic for might be worth because getting one channel lightning is not like that necessary. Um, I would say this is kind of a hard fight for me because I do not have. Whoops, I don't have um, apparitions yet. If I get apparitions, we're fine. There they are. It's 
Sheik. Uh, we can bring back... So Sheik is really interesting too, right? So Sheik allows me to get two apparitions. Like when I use Sheik, I can get two apparitions in my hand immediately. Thunderstrike is interesting. Aggregate is interesting. So Redo is kind of interesting as well with Dark. Um, we're taking damage here. So Redo just cycles the orb, which is interesting to me. So there's the apparition, right? Uh, Amplify doesn't work here. Force field is not bad. Barrage is not bad. I think Tempest is fine. But it gets rid of the dark. I actually don't want to get rid of the dark. I want to keep the dark going. We're going to use dark as the one shot here. So Heat 6 is bad. So I do want to use Apparitions, but I'm scared that they're not going to be playable with... So... It doesn't matter, because he's dead with Dark, right? So if I can get the Dark... With Chaos, he's dead next turn. He's dead with the Dark next turn with Chaos. So he's dead. Alright, he's dead next turn, guys. So Chaos just kills him. It's interesting that Chaos does these things, right? So not only does Fusion evoke the dark and does damage. Chaos evokes two and gives me two random. So Chaos is really strong. That's 96 damage. GG. So that's how we're going to kill the time meter, I believe. I think we're going to do some dark shenanigans. Um, chill is interesting. Because it gives me dead branch and it gives me more frost. I like cool headed a lot for the card draw. We already have a lot. I think our deck's good. I think our deck's good, guys. Let's go ahead and end this. Let's go ahead and end this. So we can choke, get rid of the the doubt, since we don't want to have curses, or we can say, you know what? Maybe I want to rest before life. No, nope. I can dig. I can dig. What I'm talking about? Oh my god! And when I thought this run couldn't get any crazier, are you kidding me? I'm so excited to see where this goes. What? Dude, this is insane. The rare relics I got this run. Okay, so let's see what we want here. I think letter opener is not bad. Well, we're going against time reader, so we don't want to play too many things. But we have Tempest. Guys, we have Tempest. Oh, we have Tempest, guys. Oh, this is going to be insane. Shit, I don't know what we want to do. So we have the common needle combo with uh, Tor Tori and Orikakum. Blue candle to get rid of the doubt. I think, I think like blue candle is the best thing I could buy, honestly. And I'll, I'll just remove like a defense. Okay, this is going to be very interesting to see this. White noise, creative AI, aggregate, wait a second, aggregate gets me everything all right back, right? So, creative eye gets the uh, dead branch for your apparition, right? We get something back, maybe like aggregate again. We have ice cream on the first turn because of aggregate, which I got randomly. 10 energy, this is just too good, guys. Yes. Oh, my, I'm, I'm so happy. If only I can get aggregate in my actual deck, that'd be fantastic. So amplify capacitor. Almost full things, right? We got capacitor again. All right, we got full orbs. Now let's just go for the tempest now. Or we can probably make it better though, right? Let's go for tempest now. I mean, ten is pretty decent. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, maybe I could have waited. I should, probably should have waited. Whatever. Oh, that's fun, though. That's cool. I like the sound effect for that. Creative AI is so good. So now we have two creative eyes. We're getting two random powers for every turn. I do like skim. 
Some more capacitors. No, we already have full, so let's do apparition, apparition. That's fun. <laughs> 30 damage. Echo form. Oh my god. So, wait. Barrage is pretty nutty, guys. Let's just take a look. At, so, aggregate again. But let's, let's look at Barrage. Uh, that's lethal. But Echo form is insane. So many cool things, man. A lot, a lot of cool powers. Um, whenever you play a power, channel one lightning. And this is innate. I think I'm taking that. I gotta be careful with that, though. Alright, we're gonna dig again. Strawberry. So despite the fact that we started with we got apparitions, we ended up with 68 life. It's not bad. Uh, let's pop the potions. So hello world, All right? Loop, white noise, buffer, storm, ball lightning. <laughs> so that's the first turn. So we got a lot of different powers. I have no idea what all of them do. I mean, I know some of them, but so there's. Hey, Cage Rocks, thanks for the follow, right? So we want to get the Plasma, we also want to get the uh, Creative AI out, we might have the Apparition out. And let's do Fusion. Just to get some Plasma going, right? Alright, we're good. So what we want to do is get Capacitors out, get some more Max Orbs, and start doing some crazy stuff. So that, speaking of Capacitor, we got Amplified capa Capacitor. I said I needed Max Orbs, Amplified Capacitor came right to me. We can bring back the fusion again, right? So now we can channel even more plasma. Alright. So now we're getting one, two, three more energy per turn. And we can do Thunder Strike, which is 70 damage right now. And this is an attack that keeps playing. So I can keep playing this attack. It's 70 damage nuke right now. It only gets better. There's a problem here, though. Um... Dietrex, thanks for the follow. The problem here is that I didn't have Apparition. But we're gonna draw into Apparition, hopefully. There it is. Alright, so Tempest, it's gonna be huge. And then the Thunder, Thunder Strike, whatever, is gonna be even more big. Even more big, bigger. Echo Form is nice. Devil Apparition is nice. So, guys, take a look at Blaster real quick. 22 energy. That's gonna be a big tempest. Just, just wait, guys. It's have double echo form. Oh my god. Now, now keep in mind, every time I play power, I'm channeling lightning because of this, um, I believe, storm, right? So I'm channeling two lightning every time I play a power. So I channeled four lightning, which means that Thunder Strike right now is gonna be doing, I don't know, like times 15. That's gonna be nutty. You guys are gonna see this. Bring back Thunderstrike. Ah, that's more lightning than I just channeled. Alright, we're good. This is gonna be potentially a really big one shot. Blaster, why not? What? Blaster gets played twice, so I get, I get, I get 10 energy twice because of Blaster and Echo, no, wait, I have two Echo Forms, I have two Echo Forms, I gotta play Blaster three times, where the hell is my Tempest, guys, we gotta see this Tempest, I don't care what you guys say, give me Hologram, I have two echo forms, guys. That means if I play Tempest, Tempest is gonna be played three times for 53 energy. That's gonna be 150 energy plus Tempest. I'm losing my mind. Aggregate, guys, look at ag wait, no, aggregate's not good. Wait, take my take it back. So impulse is getting played um three times. So that's kind of cool. That's a cool how to draw some cards. Okay, okay. Let's do aberration. Okay, okay, let's look for Tempest, right? Let's do... Let's see if we can find Tempest. Oh my god, get the clip ready. Mom, get the camera. I can guarantee Tempest next turn. Get the camera, Mom. We got Aggregate. 
Get the camera. Okay, what's even better than Tempest, honestly, would be Thunderstrike. I want you guys to see the Thunderstrike right here. Where's the Thunderstrike? Because Thunderstrike is also doing a shit ton of damage. Because I've channeled so many lightnings that I can't even count. So I have two nukes in this deck. This thing is doing... Can I see how much I have right now? Oh, it's going to be so nutty. So we're going to do it. 67. 68 energy. I, I think we got to go for it. And the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, around and round. Timing must be so pissed. He's looking at his watch like, you're doing all of this with one card? Just like... Thank you, Zeus. Thank you, Zeus. I loved it. I loved it, guys. So, um... Alright, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end it on that. That was amazing. Oh, we got unlocks. Wait. Stay for the unlocks. Wait. We have a card that gives us three plasma. Cost five. Does 24 damage. We have a card that does 24 damage. And if it kills, it gains three energy. So it's free. And then we have a card that gives two energy but adds a void into the discard pile. But we've seen a hologram, right? So you can use turbo, hologram the turbo, get four energy, then do... Th like, there's so many things this thing can do. It's open up a whole new thing. Turbo hologram. Meteor strike. I don't even want to start on that. I mean, this is craziness. Jesus. The first five energy card right here. Guys, we have a lot of things to try out tomorrow. Again, I'm serious. I want to get Ascension 15 world first. I don't know if anybody's going to try it, compete me, but I'm going to try to get Ascension 15. Just got to learn the character first. And guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wow, wow, wow. Craziness, guys.